thank our hosts here in, in Harvard for, for making this possible to meet at that particular time. I hear it's graduation time um, at that particular time here in uh, Harvard. Thank you very much, um, which has been uh, a problem for some getting uh, accommodation, I hear. Um, but uh, that was something we didn't have in mind when we did the planning. Sorry about that. Uh, I would like to thank Brian O'Hagan from Columbia University for doing all the preparations, I think. Um, basically, <laughs> if, if there is anything he hasn't done, then it was Mich Michelle Siegman from UC Berkeley who has done the rest. Also, thanks to you, Michelle. You, uh, she can't be here, unfortunately. Um, I would like to thank you for, for coming here, of course. I would like to thank um, those commercial entities, as we call them, companies, who will present tomorrow, I think, in a capture agent showcase. So these are things that you will uh, see there, uh, them presenting their solutions. And I would like, and that's uh, the, the, the slide you just removed, unfortunately. Oh, great, thank you. Uh, I would like to thank our sponsors, basically, uh, other commercial entities beyond the capture agent domain uh, for sponsoring this event, for making this possible. Um, so, yeah, basically, uh, thanks to you as a community, we can enjoy this hopefully during the next couple of days as a community and as a project. And whether that's then Opencast Matterhorn or Opencast or the Opencast community, it doesn't really matter uh, as long as you are happy after these three days. Thank you very much, and over to you. All right. Everybody's on Wi Fi? Everybody made it? Oh, good. So worried about that. Um, everything's good. Uh, yeah, uh, I really want to thank the team here at Harvard. We've got a, a great network of people here at, through the uh, DCE and also through the MTS department. They have been so fantastic in, in uh, assuring that everything has been ready for us. Uh, so I think just the fact that we're able to get up and running so smoothly today it's a testament to their great efforts, so I want to thank them. Uh, yeah, please. And for, uh, for loaning us this beautiful space where we'll be spending three days, that's pretty awesome, too. We haven't seen the breakout rooms yet next door, but they're equally as, as awesome. Um, let's talk about name tags. Uh, the breakfast was a little late this morning, so I had to get them here. We'll have name tags for everybody, and we, uh, we also have a, a little sign-in sheet where you can check off your name. Uh, my, okay, <laughs> what's going on, man? No, I'm joking. Actually, uh, the reception's really bad down, from, uh, down here for me. I, I figured that phone, phone service wouldn't be a problem. Verizon works, right? I'm on AT&T. at and is not gonna work, guys, so. Um, that was, well, that gets to my other comment. But anyway, uh, I was talking about the name tags. We will have name tags. My idea here is that when we come back from lunch, um, and they're not, they're not really cool name tags because it's an unconference. It's like a piece of paper. You can write your name on it. Uh, I'm going to leave them out here on this panel board. So but when we come back from lunch, go ahead and fill out a name tag and check off your name on the list. That's as complicated as it will be. But that way, everybody will have their names in front of them. You'll be able to remember everybody a little bit easier. Sorry for that. that light oversight. Um, let's talk about sessions. Um, we have a, a wide range of sessions proposed for tomorrow and for Friday. That's going to be the time when we're actually going to break out into working groups. We're going to break and uh, break. I think we're going to have a whole session. The, the lightning talks are really popular. So we're going to have a, a whole session or two dedicated to lightning talks. And if and the other thing, too, is we're trying to keep this lean and flexible. So definitely lean on the unconference.opencast.org site for everything you need over the next three days, most importantly, these sessions. So today during the workshop, uh, Tobias and Chris and Rudiger are going to go over a lot in terms of the Matterhorn architecture, how it works, how you can implement, really think about what you want to turn into a session tomorrow or Friday, uh, or vote on these sessions here through the course of the day. Because the idea is that when we get to tomorrow morning, we're going to spend the first hour going through these sessions, and we're going to start building our agenda. 
Now, who has been at an on-conference before? Okay. So in, in some on-conferences, we actually have like a physical paper board where we can put note cards up. We're going all digital. This is the future. We're living in the future. So what we did was we created a spreadsheet that everybody here can access. It's openly editable to all of you. We're going to circulate that link tomorrow. And what we're going to do is, one, the sessions that have received the most votes, I think, and there are no rules because we're going to make this stuff up as we go, is that all the, the sessions that have the most votes are going to be in this room, which we're calling the main, the main room. Okay? And then there's tons of other space for all of us to fill out in terms of the sessions you want to have, the small groups you want to make, and everybody will be able to schedule their time here. So I just want to show this now so we can think about it over the next day. We're going to have access to this. We're going to fill out the uh, morning session. Let me, uh, right, so we have plenty of time to schedule sessions. And we're going to do that tomorrow. So today is where we're going to think about sessions and vote on sessions. So that, is that clear? I'm not on my second cup of coffee. When I have my second cup of coffee, I'll be better. Uh, as you can see tomorrow, we're also going to have the Capture Agent Showcase. We have a lot of uh, OpenCast members and, and commercial partners who are going to show how their capture agents work and how their capture agents work with Matterhorn. We're going to have a whole session dedicated to that. They're also going to have a room next door where all their gear is going to be set up. So anytime you want to go over and check out the gear hands-on, you can do that too. All right. So the morning will be sessions by you. The afternoon will be the capture agent showcase. And then I think we even have some more space for breakout sessions. If the capture agents aren't your thing and you want to continue a conversation from the morning or there's something you haven't talked about yet, just grab the time. It's going to be there for you. Um, so it's going to be a fun experiment. We'll see how that goes. Uh, the same thing will work for Friday. Friday morning, we're going to have a similar block of time in the morning. It'll look just like this. And then the afternoon is much more freeform, because I know that a lot of people are flying out. A lot of people do want to stick around, maybe like code together. We still have the space. So the afternoon is totally open for that. That's the loose plan. But again, this is up to us. It's whatever you guys want to do. We'll do it. Um, but today, we do have a format. And there are rules. No. Uh, the work We have today a full day workshop on Matterhorn. And it's going to be led by three highly skilled and talented individuals. Uh, Tob uh, Tobias Wunden from Entwine, Christopher Brooks from University of Saskatchewan, and Rudiger Rolf, University of Osnabrück. These guys have gone through these motions before. They are lean, mean coding machines. They will hopefully answer all of your questions. They do have uh, a loose agenda in terms of what they're going to go over with Matterhorn, but we want to start off with maybe some brief, some brief, in okay. Oh, hey, uh, with some brief introductions. Uh, who here has a specific thing that they want to learn about Matterhorn, the software, this morning? I'm asking this because our, our three committers are very nimble, and they'll be able to cover whatever ground you wish for them to cover. So before they get started, it'd be helpful for them to know some specifics that you might want to learn from this workshop, and they're going to set a time. They're going to set aside time in the afternoon specifically to focus on your questions. And when I say introductions, this is a perfect time for you to say, hey. Uh, I can say, hi, I'm Brian O'Hagan. I'm from Columbia University. I don't have a name tag because I forgot about them. Uh, or something like that. Anybody want to say, hey, and maybe mention, like, hey, what do I want to get out of the workshop today? Good morning. I'm Charlie Turner. I'm from the University of California, Davis, and we have a small pilot. And I'm really interested in a little more in-depth understanding of the REST uh, interfaces, the API, and how to use them so that I can do more with the system. Don't be shy. We're going to learn a lot about each other over the next two days, three okay, days. OK, this is, this is not your last opportunity to come forward, I think. I was just told I should probably have another cup of coffee. I'm working on it. OK, so we have one question. Uh, how about this? If you have any questions, there will be breaks in between the, the blocks of the workshop. 
we'll just have another QA. We'll make, a, we'll make time for that. So we should probably get started. Um, who's, who's starting, guys? Who's, who's going first? Ah, okay, yeah. Then I would start. Um, Do you uh, need a laptop? 